Celebration Bowl 4, North Carolina A&T versus Alcorn State. First quarter, Lamar Renard finds his wingman, Markel Cartwright, and he's on the move to the tune of 45 yards for an Aggie first down. A&T on the board first when Reynard hooks up with Zachary Leslie, 17-yard touchdown, 7-0 A&T. Alcorn State gets offensive. Chris Blair goes tiptoeing along the sideline. And then Noah Johnson to Juan Anthony, 16 yards down to the A&T 14. The Braves, however, have to settle for a field goal. So we have ourselves a 7-3 ball game still in the first. Jump to the second quarter. Watch the A&T defense. Tamadre Abram is going to get the jump on the route, and Noah Johnson is intercepted. And Abram, well, I think that means he has locked his man up. That metaphor was pretty easy to get. But the Aggies can't convert it to six. They have to settle for three. They go up 10-3. Under one minute to go before the half, Reynard finds the best hands in the MIAC. Elijah Bell, 27 yards for the score. Aggies up 17-3 and maybe pulling away, but hold on. 20 seconds can be an eternity. Johnson connects with Anthony again for Alcorn. This is a 26-yard pickup, and that sets up a field goal just before the half. And we have ourselves a 17-6 ball game. We'll have much more on halftime during Monday night's no huddle, but let me tell you, it did not disappoint. Third quarter, the Braves start rolling. Reynard throws his first pick of the game when he put just a little too much air underneath that one in. Brady Smith with the INT. Then it's Deshaun Waller picking up yard on top of yard on top of yard, 48 to be exact, down to the 30 yard line. And it's time to seal the deal. Who you gonna call? Noah Johnson <laughs> picks up the last 30 on that drive. The lead is cut down to 17 to 13. Reynard feeling the pressure once again. Aggies have to punt, and mama, there goes that man. Waller rushes for 54 yards here. He had a game-high 167 yards on the ground. But Alcorn, they have to settle for a field goal. That's like a thing now. The lead down to one at 17 to 16. Sounds of dynamite all pumped up. Everyone is swag surfing, but meanwhile, Malik Wilson says, y'all surf on this. He returns the ensuing kickoff 79 yards all the way to the house, and man, that will take the swag out of your surf. 24-16 A&T. We go to the fourth quarter. Noah Johnson rains down some serious yardage. The Braves feel like they just might get on the arc and ride it to a Celebration Bowl title. That touchdown run makes it 24-22. Alcorn cuts the lead down to just two, so it seems logical to go for two and try to tie the ball game up. And this is one they will talk about for years to come. Johnson firing one into the back of the end zone. Alcorn thinks that it's good. a and does not, and neither do the referees. They look at it again in instant replay, and they maintain the catch was no good. You be the judge. The Aggies and Braves exchange possessions, and with 5.55 remaining in the game, a and gets the ball, and they start a championship drive. Led by senior quarterback Lamar Reynard, who only has two losses as a starter in his Aggie career, there would not be a third. Reynard converts two crucial third down plays with his arm, and the Aggies hold on for a dramatic 24-22 win, their third Celebration Bowl victory. On the other side, the Braves are left with a sick feeling when it comes to that two-point conversion. 
and they don't want to hear anything about a great season. I really don't care about my season. We lost We lost the HBCU National Championship. I really don't care about how the, what season we had. Who cares? We lost the National Championship. Nothing else really matters. No one said what was the explanation. They just said it was confirmed uh, that it was incomplete. I've been in football a long time, and um, I know how history play is. Um, but, you know, it's just different. Uh, but I was looking for his foot was out of bound. I was looking for a juggle. Uh, just tell me something, you know. Um, but it wasn't one. Alcorn uh, has a great team, has a great defense and an offense. And, you know, uh, it, it, it was probably going to happen during the game where they got momentum and they, you know, had a couple stops. But um, we just had to fight. And, you know, I told my guys on the sideline, if something good happens, keep playing. If something bad happens, keep playing. And, you know, uh, we rallied together. Man, you know, that last drive was the most important drive of the game. Um, you know, like I said, Alcorn, you know, they coach very well. They play hard, you know. They got some hits in on me. But, you know, uh, as a team, we're warriors on uh, North Carolina A&T. And uh, we did a great job. And I want to shout out the defense, too, because they did very well as well. Uh, it's very important that uh, uh, we get an opportunity to play postseason play. And then it's just uh, an extra cream on the top of it when you get the opportunity to play in a bowl game such as uh, this. So uh, we're very happy and proud to be a part of it. And uh, if you don't mind, we'd like to come back next year. <laughs>